Hi, this is Matt from The Turning Gate, and I am going to install Backlight 2. So on the left-hand side of my screen, I have the Backlight 2 installer in a zip file. This is the download from my Backlight 2 order. Of course, I have access to all of Backlight's various add-ons, and I'm going to show you how to install those as well, but I don't actually have to download them. The only download we need is the installer from the Backlight 2 order. So I've unzipped this, uh, that's given me this folder, and when I dive inside, I have four items, the .ht access file, a backlight folder, a galleries folder, and the index.php file. If you do not see the .ht access file, please go into your FTP client preferences and tell it to display hidden files. It's really important that we copy this, and we have to be able to see it to do that. So I'm going to take all four of these items and I'm going to copy them to the right side of my screen, which is actually the, uh, the home folder for my website. On my host, that's public HTML. Your host, it might have a different name. So now that those are copied, I'm going to switch to my web browser and I'm going to go to my domain uh, slash backlight slash installer. And when I get there, I get an error, and I wanted to show you this on purpose. Uh, the error here is because my host is running an older version of PHP, PHP version 5.2.17. Uh, Backlight 2 requires a minimum version of 5.4, and a, we recommend uh, 5.6 or newer. So you might have to go into your hosting cPanel. Uh, I'm on Bluehost. This is the cPanel. And here, there should be some way of telling it to use a newer version of PHP. So on Bluehost, I just need to scroll down until I find the section called Programming, which is right here in blue. I'm going to go into my PHP config. And I'm going to choose PHP 5.6, and I'm going to save changes. Once I do that, uh, if I were to refresh my view of the, the files on disk, you can see it's created some PHP config files. And uh, if I refresh my page, now I can install Backlight 2. So I'm going to paste in my order number, and then I'm going to give it the email that I used when I purchased that order. And I'm going to log into the installer. I'm going to click the button, Install Backlight 2. And this might take a moment. Oh, there we go. It's done. I get a successful notification, and then continue to Backlight. And here I need to log in using the default admin login uh, when you first set up Backlight. So that's username admin, all lowercase, and password, also lowercase, is TTG8888, and then I log in. Quick settings will get us configured uh, very quickly, so I'm just going to give my website a name. Uh, the domain's already set. I need to give it my email address. Uh, I'm going to copy this and put it here as well. And also down here, the API key is used by back or yeah, Backlight's uh, public services plugin for Lightroom. Uh, in Backlight 2, the Lightroom plugin is optional. But if you want to use it, it needs an API key. So for now, 12345. Uh, give it a secure password. I'm just going to give it 12345 for the purposes of this video. And my guest admin uh, is going to be 67890. So once this is all set up, and of course I'm going to come back and change these passwords later off screen, uh, you can save the settings and that puts you into Backlight's dashboard. So the first thing I'm going to do here is click Update Album Files just to kickstart the creation of everything that Backlight needs to do its job. Um, and now, if I want to, I should be able to visit my website. And I have a home page and an about page and a galleries page. So the website is up and running. That's fantastic. So back in Backlight, uh, if I wanted to install add ons that I've purchased, all I need to do is go into admin and Backlight modules. And this will take you to a list where it consults with our shop using your email address and pulls in all of your associated orders for Backlight 2. So, 
And this is why I didn't have to download my other add-ons is because Backlight knows I've, I've purchased them. So they're all in here. Uh, if I want to install the client response gallery, or the, rather the client response add-on, all I have to do is come here and click install. And then install again to confirm. And then up here in the menu, you can see I have client response. Uh, from this screen, you can also install updates when they become available. So it will show you your installed version in this column, the available version here, and then you can choose to update or reinstall modules. Um, it makes the entire process of managing your Backlight 2 installation really easy. So that's it. Backlight 2 is installed and I am ready to get to work uh, providing content, uploading images, and customizing the look and feel of my website. And as you can see, it was really easy to get to this point. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy using Backlight 2. Have a nice day.